What is up, guys? So I am sick. I actually got off work today. I've been <coughs> in bed for like the past, I don't know, since Friday. Today is Monday. I actually had my tires show up yesterday. So thankfully, thankfully, thank you to anybody who saw that video and, and clicked the link and all that stuff to go fund me. It's pretty funny. All that jazz. I won't get into it, but... Uh, some of you guys partially paid for these tires, so thank you very much. Uh, yeah, anyway, this is not what this video is about. This is what the video is about. Try and not show you guys my address on that box. But uh, we're in a new house now. You can see I'm not in a hotel anymore, and this is eventually going to be the office. But uh, obviously the focus is not on the office. It's getting everything else together. But you can see the hood from the Mark 7 there. We can... You can see uh, you know, intake, valve cover, a lot of this stuff's gonna be up on the wall with some awards and uh, pictures and such, but that is for the future. For now, I finally sold some things during the move so that we could do some things for science. So let's unbox this. I'm sorry for the sniffles and the coughs and the sound of laundry going on in the background, but <coughs> <coughs> your boy's trying to make things work. So um, figured I need to get up and do something useful. So I just vacuumed a little bit, started some laundry, figured I'd unbox this for the camera. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll go out to the garage today and actually just kind of semi see if this even fits. 99.9% .9 sure I'm going to need um, some retrofitting because I didn't, this isn't the whole, the whole intake. I only got the front half. So the filter forward is all I have. The, from the, uh, the filter housing back, I'm keeping what I have. So I don't know if they're going to mate up real easy and just put a, you know, coupler on that and call it a day or not, but we're going to find out. And oh my goodness, a shout out to the boys at EQT. I think, uh, I think they sent us enough stickers. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah, this is the, the boy itself right there. I'm assuming let's get all this stuff out. Let's just get it all out. Oh, brother. So much. Oh, rubber. Ooh. And then they even sent over a... Uh, smells delicious. Awesome. Oh, this is like rubber banded together. I really like the way that this is set up. I am actually going to stop right here and get a picture because I just like how this all looks. What a unit. This thing is massive. It's huge. I've only ever seen one or two in person. My boy uh, Picosito, his GTI has one and I was bugging him for the longest. I wanted to just test fit his, but we never got around to it. Holy guacamole, this thing's huge. God dang. This is just, wow, that looks really nice on there. This is, this is dope. Big old filter in there. It's interesting how it points like that. Um, wow. Very cool. Very nice. Leave this slips in here. And then, yeah, there's just some screws that, that hold it tight to that. And then, yeah. So this is huge back here. This is what I'm mostly worried about. This going to my intake. I'm hoping these sizes aren't too far off and that the angle of them aren't far off from one another. So I might have to go look. Very nice. I'm like sweating. I'm sweating, I'm sick. Hopefully you guys don't get this sickness. I got tested for COVID and for uh, strep and came back negative but i have just been mostly just having a fever and sweating 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 
runny nose, sore throat, coughing, aches, everything. Not great. Let's see these little screws will go into there. You got your rubber for these and screws to hold this stuff together. And then this connects to this. Pretty simple. And then this would go to, for your PCV into the hose. And you got this little adapter guy here. That would be for your, uh, your vacuum line. But the vacuum line doesn't, what I could do, I could drill a hole into this and pop that vacuum line into this on the bottom. And just cause mine has threads, I could drill a hole and thread it right in, but I don't know if it would hit the filter. I don't know. We're gonna have to play around and do some uh, customization, but. Well, came out here for a test fit. Um, this fits good, the air dam. It's in there great. Um, pulled off this front half to try and line it up. I'm gonna have to chop this back probably to about right here. And then I need a new coupler because this is three and a half inch and the new one's four. So I need to get a, a step down I thought that they would match right up. I don't know what I was thinking. I created more work for myself, boys, as always. And like I said, this taps into this, so I'll have to like tap a hole into that other one or into this side. Either way, I'm gonna have to tap somewhere for this vacuum hose, but uh, we'll see. We'll see when we get there. Next day here, just wanted to give you guys a better look and the proper lighting. Uh, so like the, the old air dam that was there, you know, it was like flat with this, air came through and left out here. I barely rerouted any air over here anyway. And then obviously with the current setup, it doesn't, doesn't matter, but all this air is gonna get dammed up against this, brought down in here and right into that intake. I'll go out and do a day data log. I'll do two data logs with this as it sits, come home, um, we'll cut it, get everything installed, and then go out and do two more data logs, and then we'll overlay that data log information here so we can see if this, um, this blaze portion will help wastegate duty cycle and uh, turbo shaft speed. So we do have those Shaft speed sensors on the turbo now, which you can't see. Right there is where the PCV is, uh, but like, I don't know, 30 degrees from that is the shaft speed sensor, a little bit further in. Pretty neat stuff. Pretty, pretty neat. I didn't have a board. It's almost 10 seconds. I ran 11 11 the other week. Yeah. Pretty quick. Hey, oh, yeah. I started pulling this bad boy apart. Figured we'd get one last clip here. How everything's going to look. Well, I have the intake in the box here, but. This is gonna be sick, so. Woo! It's gonna be a big old ball. So I gotta measure, like I said, we're gonna have to cut, cut some material off of, come on, the box. So cut some material off here. I'm gonna tape it, measure it, all this stuff. I had to pull this off. We're gonna have to put, throw a little hole in this guy to run that to it, but um, yeah, should be fun. Should be, uh, well, we'll pull this off, measure and whatnot, and then pull the inlet off, cut it, put it back on, and uh, hopefully everything works first cut. <laughs> All right, you guys wanna see some cool stuff? There we go, let's get the five eggs. 
focus, focus. Might be a little better. Oh, there you go. You can see the turbski there. It's quite big. Like the end nut here is quite. It's a nice unit. Look at that. Hell yeah, brother. You're looking good. All right, next step is to uh, get the cutting. A little bit better of a view for you. Very nice. Well, boys, there she is, freshly cut. We're about to just pop it up. We'll pop the seal in there, pop the coupler, and then that one. See if our cut is good enough. If not, then we will measure a second time and cut a second time. But I think everything turned out pretty good. I just cleaned everything out, brake clean, wiped it down. Hopefully, this works first try. Boom. There we go. First test fit. Looks like, uh, looks like we got our cut pretty good. All right. Transition's a little off. Not as smooth from black to bronze as I would have liked. It is what it is, though. At least the bronze matches the bronze, matches the bronze, so it works out. It's a fat fucking intake, though. All right, had to dig a new O-ring out of my O-rings. The O-ring that's been on this thing was fairly, uh, so hopefully this one isn't too thick, but I cut a second time because it fit perfect, like too perfect. I couldn't get the intake installed without this being loose because of how tight the uh, step down is there. So I had to cut it a little bit further and I uh, just tested it uh, without the O-ring, tighten everything up, it works. So now we install it for good, wipe it down, new O-ring, tighten everything up, get the filter on and go test. Well, actually I gotta drill a hole in that thing for the uh, intake manifold vacuum, but we're getting there. Fellas, there we go, that's it, we're done. She's in, I can like lift the whole car with this thing. It's like a freaking crane point. So tight, so good. I'm digging it. It's gonna take a little time of getting used to, but uh, I'm digging it. Really interested to see how it's gonna hear. See how it's gonna hear, that doesn't even make sense. I do want to remove this and make a, like, just, I don't know, what's it called? Sheet metal piece here, so it just covers up all the ugly. Been saying that for a long time, but now it actually makes sense. Iros catch can, boom, boom, right here. And then have that, get the brace, little brace. Actually, I don't think I have room down there to get the little brake brace that I want, but. We'll cover this up and make this stuff look pretty. Um, eventually, racing line or... Jeez, girl. What are you doing? You breaking my stuff? Can you say hi? Can you wave? Rylan Brooke. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> say hi. Uh. Hi. Uh. Up, 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 up. Well, I'm recording. I'm recording. Ugh. How strong are you? Ready? <laughs> ah, so strong. High five. Good job. Knuckles? What do you think of Dad's new intake? I don't even remember what I was talking about now. Yeah, up. Intake. Say intake. It's a new word for you. Say intake. In. Pretty close. Good job. Uh -oh. Well, anyway, let's, uh, let's go out for a drive. Filling up on that E85. It is just rain is non-stop. I was spinning in third gear. Get a little look here in the daylight. Looking good. Such a big mouthy intake. Like, I'm so happy. You know, we got air coming up on both sides, coming in, getting shoved in. I'll tell you what, the car feels a little bit better. Now the data logs should show that, but the times will really show that. Man, I'm like, yeah, I'm excited for it to dry up this week. It's gonna be like just below 60 degrees this weekend. So we'll get up early Saturday, go out, do some runs, 
super stoked. And we're like three weekends, two weekends, three weekends away from the drag event. So I'm stoked. Engine's almost warmed up finally. I thought you wouldn't be able to hear the intake like at all, the way some people made it sound, but. just fine so that's nice but uh no i got like five minutes of road to go back up till i can do a pool so i'm trying to check out some new <coughs> or find some new roads zoo pools but it just sucks back here Woo. Skirt. almost pulled out in front of a cop all right hopefully this doesn't get sketchy I didn't even go all the way down to the, 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 what's it called? The kick thing. I was in fear of like losing traction there. Holy cannoli. Wow. Car feels really good, guys. I'm telling you, with, uh, you know, good DA on a good road, we're, we're going to break a record again. This thing just. I just spun second gear. I mean, I know it's wet, but this thing's all wheel drive, dude. Like, there is some power being put the frick down. With all that air being forced in there now, man, I really feel like I've just been missing out. I, I cut myself short there for a while. I, I made that 1118 record, and I've been ch I chased that for half a year. And now, you know, putting this intake back, or this intake on, that was kind of like the racing line that you know forced all that air in with the air dam and all that. Um, I don't know. Maybe I, I kind of put myself on a what do they call it? A uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's like struggle. A handicap. I put myself on a handicap, and it, during that handicap, I still beat my PB, and now I unhandicap myself. It's the way it kind of seems. The way it kind of feels. Hopefully that's the case. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. That wasn't quite to a hundred, but she'd be moving. I'm telling you guys. Good lord, good lord. <coughs> Man, should have did this a long time ago. Let's go see that data. All right, guys, the data is in. I'm sorry, my face is basically on my phone here on the tripod in front of the computer. So this is the first log, and you guys know we were spinning. So this is like not the greatest data to go off of, but um, for this one, we can at least look at turbine speed. You can see here it's at 181,000, almost 182,000 peak. Um, see coming up through here, 150. Drops a little bit back up to 150, 160, and then here towards the top of the RPM range. Uh, it shifts at 6,500. So 6,496, we're at 181,000. Um, that's just not great. So that was, I did two logs before and two logs after. So this is the, the other one before. Um, that's the accelerator. We don't really need that. I use that to like whatever, but. Okay, so this one we can actually look at like wastegate duty cycle. We see a peak here, 35.5, and we're holding in 29 to 30 range ish, 27, 25, 24, 21. Um, 21 is going to be our peak technically, kind of. Um, yeah, that's just not good. That means it's. This is the opposite of what you think. So 0% is closed, 100% is open. So you want it to be the a high of a number as possible. So here it's kind of open because we just hit, you know, it hit peak boost. And then, but still on the way up, you know, right there, 35. We're going down to 30, 27, 30, blah, blah, blah. blah. And then, of course, as, as boost, you know, as RPM is climbing, 
We're trying to hold that boost level. Um, it's having to close the wastegate more. And here, before, right before the shift, well, this is kind of wonky here. You see the throttle angle, which I put in there. Um, I think I might have, there towards the upper RPMs, I think it got a little bit of wheel spin, so it like closed the throttle. But then again, you look up here, uh, might have got some there too. So going through here, we're at, we're in the like low 20s, 24. Um, yeah, so that's that's what that is. And you go to these ones here, we're looking at turbine speed peak. Look at that, 179. So it did go down some on that log, but this log here with turbine speed, oh, let's pull it up, turbine speed here. Look at that, at peak right before shift, 173,000 compared to this one, right before shift. Let's bring it back up, turbine speed. Um, that's not right. It's somewhere, yeah, 182,000 there. Um, so that's, you know, we're seeing a 10,000 RPM drop, potentially, between the two, close to 10,000. What did I say that was? 173 over here, we're at like 160. I let it off near like 90. So we go to accelerator position, it's still, let's go back just a little bit. We're still in the 150. Now we're at nearing 6,000 RPM, we're at 160. Let's go back here. Let's see. Did you say 58? 60, 6,000 RPM, we're at 172, 174 at 61. So yeah, we're seeing that, that's a huge, I mean, that's massive. That's a big drop in turbine speed. So let's get back to, yeah, this is this is my, my best log, this very last one. This one's the worst one. We, we, we take this off and it's all over the place. So we're just gonna X out of that. And we'll X out of this one. We'll just compare these two. Because really, I was comparing best to worst. Um, really what you would need to do is like a hundred data logs before a hundred data logs after to get like the most accurate data But you know, this is just You know ricer bullshit and just preliminary. I don't even know what you'd want to call this. Just just some some quick dates, you know I'm very happy with the results here. I cannot complain money well spent looks good sounds good And uh, your boy's happy. So again, let me know what you guys think drop down in the comments below um I still love DBV2. I love Blaze. This is like the ultimate, uh, the two best intakes on the market combined to come out with some, some great data. Your boy's happy. And uh, hopefully next video is me running time. Thanks for watching. All right, guys. Finally gonna be able to finish up this video. It's been like two, more than two weeks, probably three or four weeks actually. I'll have to look. I'll write it down here. Blaze loved what I had to tell them data-wise about the intake. So they went ahead and sent me over. I think I have the first one in the United States. Don't quote me on that. But they sent went ahead because this drops down from four to 3.5. They're like, we're gonna send you the four inch portion with our inlet. And uh, yeah, so it showed up. And uh, we're just gonna get this off real quick. Then we'll unbox the new stuff, toss it on. And we'll have this little janky, as remember this little janky uh, hose I, I did up over here. So hopefully it came with a longer hose and we won't have to run in the store tomorrow, but we'll find out here soon. Apologize if this is not my normal unboxing here. Ooh, okay, so that's where the hose goes. And the other hose. Looks like some clamps. Ooh, some more things. You can tell this is obviously a very early. Got another nipple. Open. Oh, that's the, uh, the inlet, so that'll be nice to see. Something else in here. Just some packing tape. If I can hear my diff is done. So we're gonna deal with that and then back to this. This is rather hard to show on camera. See the angle of which this, uh, whoa, why did it do that? The quality was good for a moment. Anyway, you can kind of see the angle, how steep. This one's a little steeper over here. This one's a little less steep of a curvature. So I don't know how much that affects things, but it's definitely interesting. It'll be easier to install this since it's one piece and not all attached and you're fighting all the room. So this will be slapped right down on in there. 
easy peasy pumpkin squeezy and you can actually get them started with your fingers which would be awesome look at that inlet I'll put up a picture here I got a really nice picture there we go, you got a good look. Which really cool, and you can see how this connector looks uh, for the diverter valve. And they actually molded it into that, which is really neat. So that's, that's really awesome. I like the attention to detail. Got a little nub there for your intake manifold, and then your inlet, and your inlet, outlet, actual turbo inlet. Bada bing, bada boom, let's toss it all together. You guys ready for this? <laughs> this thing's freaking massive. <laughs> oh no, and I knocked over my beer. Ah! Shame on me. Whew. Wow. That thing is huge. Let me get a picture here and we'll compare that. I'll clean up the engine bay and then take another picture, but good lord. This thing's huge. Babe, come check this thing out. Sure. All right, guys. So I went out and did one more log here after we did um, the full intake. Look in here. Once, this is in fourth gear, top of fourth, right before the shift. 167,000 turbine speed. Wastegate, gate, waste gate duty cycle, 36%. Higher the better here. Um, yeah, and you go back to one of the pre- Intake logs, roughly the same spot, fourth gear, 179,000 and 29% on the wastegate duty cycle. So turbo is working quite a bit less to make the same amount of boost. Um, and like I said, you guys have seen this video has taken six weeks of you know different parts and runs and I beat my P, I'm down now to 1108 at 125, but I've trapped 126.7. So the next dry weekend going out, um, we should be able to make this 10 as long as uh, we get traction. And coilovers show up Friday, and we're going to get the camber out. And without all that extra camber, we're definitely going to be in the money. Because we're doing this with negative 3.7 degrees of camber up front, and like negative 2.1 in the rear, with a bunch of toe out in the rear, toe in in the front. So put this thing on a drag alignment and get it sitting right with better struts, my struts are on their way out, better, higher rate springs, and the car is going to move, and I cannot wait. And uh, just shout out to Blaze for sending me that intake pipe. Um, the car sounds great, feels great. Just, the car has just never been better, and I'm stoked to have worked with so many different people over this past year. And uh, we got one more video coming out next week before the end of the year, and then you guys will have a coilover video, some fuel system video, all types of stuff to kick off the new year. And then we got going to the drag strip. Oh, something made her upset. Going to the drag strip the end of January with some prep. So then, uh, yeah, if we don't make it down the street, we're definitely going to make it then. So anyway, before the kid gets too angry, <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip flop. All right, guys. So I went out and did one more log here. After we did um, the full intake, look in here. Once, this is in fourth gear, top of fourth, right before the shift. 167,000 turbine speed, wastegate, gate, waste gate duty cycle, 36%. Higher the better here. Um, yeah, then you go back to one of the pre-intake logs. Roughly the same spot, fourth gear, 179,000 and 29% on the wastegate duty cycle. So turbo is working quite a bit less to make the same amount of boost. Um, and like I said, you guys have seen this video has taken six weeks of you know different parts and runs and I beat my P, I'm down now to 1108 at 125, but I've trapped 126.7. So the next dry weekend going out, um, we should be able to make this 10 as long as uh, we get traction and coilovers show up Friday and we're going to get the camber out and with, without all that extra camber, we're definitely going to be in the money because we're doing this with negative 3.7 degrees of camber up front and like negative 2.1 in the rear with a bunch of toe out in the rear, toe in in the front. So put this thing on a drag alignment and get it sitting right with better struts. My struts are on their way out, better, higher rate springs 
and the car is going to move and I cannot wait. And uh, just shout out to Blaze for sending me that intake pipe. Um, the car sounds great, feels great. It's just, the car has just never been better. And I'm stoked to have worked with so many different people over this past year. And uh, we got one more video coming out next week before the end of the year. And then whew, you guys will have a cool over video, some fuel system video, all types of stuff to kick off the new year. And then we got going to the drag strip. Oh, something made her upset. Going to the drag strip the end of January with some prep. So then, uh, yeah, if we don't make it down the street, we're definitely going to make it then. So anyway, before the kid gets too angry, <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip flop. All right, guys, so I went out and did one more log here after we did um, the full intake. Look in here. Once, this is in fourth gear, top of fourth, right before the shift, 167,000 turbine speed, wastegate, gate, waste gate duty cycle, 36%. Higher the better here. Um, yeah, and you go back to one of the pre-intake logs, roughly the same spot, fourth gear, 179,000 and 29% on the wastegate duty cycle. So turbo is working quite a bit less to make the same amount of boost. Um, and like I said, you guys have seen this video has taken six weeks of, you know, different parts and runs that I've beat my P I'm down now to 1108 at 125, but I've trapped 126.7. So the next dry weekend going out, um, we should be able to make this 10 as long as uh, we get traction. And coilovers show up Friday, and we're gonna get the camber out, and with, without all that extra camber, we're definitely gonna be in the money. Because we're doing this with negative 3.7 degrees of camber up front, and like negative 2.1 in the rear, with a bunch of toe out in the rear, toe in in the front. So put this thing on a drag alignment and get it sitting right with better struts. My struts are on their way out, better, higher rate springs, and the car is going to move and I cannot wait. And uh, just shout out to Blaze for sending me that intake pipe. Um, the car sounds great, feels great. Just, the car has just never been better. And I'm stoked to have worked with so many different people over this past year. And uh, we got one more video coming out next week before the end of the year. And then whew, you guys will have a cool over video, some fuel system video, all types of stuff to kick off the new year. And then we got going to the drag strip Oh, something made her upset. Going to the drag strip the end of January with some prep. So then, uh, yeah, if we don't make it down the street, we're definitely going to make it then. So anyway, before the kid gets too angry, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip flop.